Well, hey guys, we are in the double tree in Taipei. Uh, this is the last night of our, you know, Asian section of this uh, mega trip. And this hotel, uh, you know, double tree in the United States, it's really just a mid-range hotel. But here in Asia, um, it's pretty luxurious. I'll show you some shots of the room. It's got that type of bathroom where it's like a, a glass window through from the room, which I love. Don't worry, it does have a blind that comes down so you can't see people. Uh, you know, while they're in the shower, although if it's your own family, it doesn't really matter so much. But anyway, you know, it does have the privacy screen. Uh, but yeah, we got this hotel for 50,000 Hilton points per night. Um, so, you know, obviously it is kind of on the expensive side, um, but, uh, you know, put that in perspective, Beverly Hilton is 60,000 points a night, and this hotel, well, to be honest, the room is easily as nice as the Beverly Hilton, uh, if not nicer. Obviously, the Beverly Hilton has the whole uh, history and, you know, the kind of prestige that goes along with it. Uh, but it's certainly a very nice hotel. A little hack as well for Hilton's website. If you check for ward availability um, with four people in the room, like two adults, two kids, um, it won't show a ward availability for booking with points. At least it didn't for this hotel. Uh, but what you can do is just search for two people in the room uh, and a ward availability will show up and then you can book it. And then when you actually come to the hotel, you bring two kids with you or however many, whatever, you know, normally up to four, right? In a room with a king bed, you could have like two extra kids um, you know, maybe there's a sofa bed or whatever, uh, but you know, they didn't care just now. We checked in, uh, if, if there was an extra charge for kids, I'm sure they would have, you know, asked us to pay it. Um, but that's really the worst that could happen. They're not going to kick you out. So, uh, yeah, basically they didn't care. So that's just a little hack for Hilton's website. Um, searching for an award booking, uh, just search. I normally just search at the beginning with one person in the room and then I start adding people to see if the availability is still there. Anyway, now we're in the bathroom. I'll just give you a little tour. Um, it's got both a bathtub with uh, quite a cool little uh, little thing here. You know, you've got this uh, this shower here. So if you're having a bath, you can still rinse yourself off with clean water from this shower head. Um, it's got both an, a bathtub and a shower, and of course a Japanese toilet that washes your butt. A toilet. Wow. You need one of those in Asia. I personally still have not used it. I hear it really tickles. Um, I'm, you know, I don't know whether uh, I'm going to use it or not. Maybe I'll put uh, some footage of me uh, trying it out for the first time later on in this video. Uh, we'll see. Another cool thing about this hotel is it has an espresso machine, which is uh, in the sort of uh, entrance area. Uh, very, very nice with these marble countertops. Not really marble, but some sort of, some sort of classy stone. Uh, and then you've got a closet which has nice robes in it. Uh, and this thing over here, which I'll show you footage of, um, it's kind of bench. I didn't know what it was for. It looks kind of hard to sit on, but actually it's for your luggage. So you can put a couple of cases on there without taking out floor space. Um, I do really love the uh, kind of, uh, this kind of design it's kind of like like a sort of carpet on your wall a lot of this backlit lighting you've also got some little gadgets here like some sort of reading light that kind of comes out very very cool so um you know well worth it for 50,000 hilton points remember hilton points aren't really worth that much um they're only worth about half a cent per point so that would only really be the equivalent of maybe 15, maybe 18,000 um, Chase Ultimate Rewards or Amex Points or whatever, 50,000 Hilton points, not really that much. So it sounds like a lot, but it's not that much. Um, but yeah, great hotel for uh, one night in Taipei. And if you're coming to Taipei uh, and you want something that uh, doesn't cost you that many points, but actually is uh, quite a good hotel experience, I thoroughly recommend this one. Hilton also is super kind of flexible because you can uh, you can book with points and with money and there's kind of a slider thing where you can you know see how uh, control how much points slash money you are using um, they also gave us because we have gold status uh, they gave us well you have the free cookies which everyone gets at Doubletree very very nice they also gave us free breakfast um, and they gave us a late checkout as well and we're up on the 16th floor uh, which is a really you know nice high floor although unfortunately there isn't really a view because there's you know a lot of buildings around here so guys 
if you want to have Hilton Gold status uh, and accumulate points, uh, why not check out any of the Hilton uh, Amex credit cards, which are really, really good. The Hilton Honors Surpass gives you gold status, and the Hilton Honors um, Aspire card, the highest one, gives you diamond status. And they've all got really big sign-up sign bonuses, etc. So I'll put the links to those um, in the description below. If you're interested, you can check them out, learn more about them. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.